Hello friends, this video on practical geometry part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have learned so many different types of quadrilaterals, let us try a few. Draw a square reed with RE is equal to 5.1 cm. Now when it comes to a square, what is the speciality of a square? In a square, all the four sides are exactly equal. So let's say if this is a square read and if one side is 5.1, that means that all the other sides are also equal to 5.1 centimeters. And in a square, all angles are equal to 90 degrees. Now knowing all the angles and all the sides, it is very easy to draw the square. So let's draw any one side. Let's say we draw RE, then we draw angle R and angle E is equal to 90 degree. So let's say this is RE and we have drawn angle R is equal to 90 degree, angle E is equal to 90 degree. Again, how you have to draw 90 degree? For that you would need to draw first angle 60 then angle 120 using compass and then between angle 60 and angle 120 you would have 90. Now you draw an arc to mark point D because the distance of D from point R would also be 5.1 centimeter. So somewhere here, let's say somewhere here would be point D. Similarly, somewhere here would be point A. And then you join D and A. So let's say if this is D, if this is A, so what happens? This distance is also 5.1 because we measure this distance and only then we mark the points. So these are all 5.1 and also you have drawn these 90 degrees. So these are also 90 degrees and that's how we get a square. Let's try another one where we would draw a rhombus whose diagonals are 5.2 centimeters and 6.4 centimeters long. Now in case of a rhombus, now we know certain properties of rhombus. The first property is that in a rhombus, the diagonals are perpendicular to each other. So in a rhombus, diagonals are perpendicular. So that is one property of rhombus. The other property is that diagonals bisect each other. Now we will see how we will make use of these properties to draw the rhombus because to draw the rhombus we would need to draw the sides also. So just knowing the two diagonals how will we be able to draw this. Now let us say this is just a rough sketch. So let us say this is a rhombus. So for this rhombus this is one diagonal and this is another diagonal. Now what do we know? We know that the diagonals bisect each other. So basically let's say if this is a rhombus A, B, C, D. When I say and they intersect at a point O. When I say that the diagonals bisect each other that would mean that A, O is equal to O, C and B, O is equal to O, D. And when I say that the diagonals are perpendicular that would mean that this angle is always 90 degrees. Now let's see that making use of these facts, are we able to draw the rhombus? So for that, first of all, we draw one diagonal. So we have chosen the diagonal AC, which is 5.2 centimeters. So we have drawn that. Now we draw an arc at the midpoint O. Now we are actually trying to find out this point O. So AC we have drawn. So we just need to draw an arc. So put the center of the compass here. Draw an arc at exactly the midpoint. So what would be the midpoint? Half of 5.2 which would be 2.6. So at a distance of 2.6 we would mark the point O. Like here this is the point O. Now these markings are different because you know I am just telling you roughly where it would be. So let's say this is where the point O is and now we draw a perpendicular at O. So we draw a line perpendicular. So we have drawn 90 degrees here on point O. Now we mark OD is equal to so now our job is to so we have drawn AC we have drawn this perpendicular also but we have to find out where exactly this point B and this point D lies so for that we know the distance of OB and OD 
because the total distance BD is given as 6.4 centimeters. So if BD is 6.4, we know that DO is equal to DO. So BO and DO will be half of 6.4, which would be 3.2 centimeters. So from O, we mark the point D at a distance of 3.2 centimeters. Similarly, we mark the point B at a distance of 3.2 centimeters. So now we have got all the four vertices of the rhombus that is A, B, C and D. So all we need to do is we need to join A, B, B, C, C, D and D, A. So the, the structure that we get is nothing but a rhombus. So you see, just knowing the two diagonals also, we were able to draw a rhombus. That's because we knew the properties of rhombus, that the diagonals are perpendicular and the diagonals bisect each other. So let us look at the last problem where we are asked to draw a rectangle with adjacent sides of lengths 5 cm and 4 cm. Now this is pretty simple because we know, let, let's first draw an, a rectangle. So we know that in a rectangle all the angles are equal to 90 degrees. So if we say that ABCD is a rectangle, if we know AB as 5 cm and BC as 4 cm, again the opposite sides are equal. So this is also 5, this is also 4. So knowing so much of detail, it's pretty simple to draw the rectangle. So first we draw any one side, let's say AB is equal to 5 cm is drawn. Then we draw perpendicular from B. Again, we draw perpendicular from A. Now, how we will draw these perpendiculars? I think I have already discussed using compass, you will have to make an angle of 90 degrees at these points. So once you draw these perpendiculars, then you'll have to draw an arc to mark BC is equal to 4 centimeters. So from point B, keep the compass center here and then you make an arc at a distance of 4 centimeters. So wherever you make that mark, that is your point C. Similarly, you make a mark by making an arc at a distance of 4 cm from point A. So this point would be your point D. So now you join CD. So what you get ABCD is nothing but a rectangle. So with this we have reached towards the end of this lesson and I hope that this lesson on constructions would have helped you. Now uh, one important thing that need to be noted is the constructions whichever I have done so far like the quadrilaterals, the parallelograms or rectangles or the squares. Now the measurements are not the real measurements. So I have just told you the technique that you need to follow to draw the construction. So I would advise you to try constructing the same things again in your notebooks. So it is not necessary that many quadrilaterals might not look the way it is looking on the screen because on the screen it is just a dummy diagram because I am not measuring 5 centimeters, I am not measuring 4 centimeters. So it is just an approximate value. So okay, whatever, let, let's say this point D is at a distance of 4 centimeters. So it is something like that. So please draw them yourself. Just follow the techniques with the help of these examples which I have mentioned here and I hope that that would help you. So whenever you start learning this lesson on uh, constructing quadrilaterals or practical geometry, I would advise you to sit with your geometry box with a sheet of paper so the, the during, during the same time when you are watching this video also trying follow to also try to follow the instructions that is being told in the video so that would help you to actually understand this lesson so with that i would like to conclude this lesson so see you all in the next lesson thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you